This is Happy Friday, guys. Happy Friday. What's going down, down, down? It has been an exhausting week for me. Um, haven't been sleep, sleeping lately. So my bad. I didn't come with you to you with my um, Caribbean salmon, um, um, salmon fritters. I will be doing that tonight. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. I truly enjoy watching you um, you guys watching me and tuning in and um, commenting and engaging in conversation with me. I truly um, I enjoy that. It is a blessed morning. It's Friday. I'm running late. For what reason? I don't know. This, these buses. Ah, public transportation. Who know the struggle? My... Anyway, I just wanted to get on here, as I always say, to wish you a blessed day. Uh, happy Friday. Welcome you to the weekend. Also, um, you know, this YouTubing is really, really raw. So, Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook, uh, be it with a sister. I am slowly getting engaged. Um, been under the weather this week, so it's been rough. But I am getting my mojo back, as they say. So anyway, I just wanted to come and say I love you. Um, stay blessed and encouraged. Uh, keep going no matter what. Um, your start may be slow some days, but you know what? A slow start is better than no start. You know what I'm saying? Amen. Um, so I welcome each and every day with joy of just opening my eyes, those blessed that's a the beautiful uh, that's a beautiful blessing within itself. Um so it's that start of God giving you the eyes eyes to open, breath to breathe. It's a good thing, you know what I mean? So anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Um I love you. I want you to know that you are loved, you are beautiful. Keep that positive vibe. Keep 2020. Let's keep playing. Let's keep praying daily in 2020. Seriously. Every second of the day is so much going on. Um, you know, our country in, in war and um, you know, to all these people losing their lives to fire and um weather conditions, you know, um, it's really a tragedy. Um, and you know, uh, Puerto Rico is still think struggling, you know, through that disaster. And, you know, so, uh, we need to keep everyone uplifted in prayer all the time, every day, every second of the minute, um, be thankful for our family and our friends and the house and the cars, if you have, and, Anything that you have that is, you know, can be, those things are just things. But life, mm, that is something to be grateful for, um, living another day and taking another breath and um, being able to move on. Because it's been a long journey for me in 2019. Um, it's been really, really um, heart Ooh, heavy on my heart. It's been very heavy. Um, you know, living each day, each day I wake up, I'll be thinking, you know, oh, you know, um, I'm going to see my dad, you know, again. And, and just going through those um, motions of, you know, up until the day he went home to be with the Lord, you know, you wanting to be there. So just love on the parents if you still have 
your parents here, love on them as much as you can. You know, sometimes, unfortunately, you know, things can be strained, uh, you know, relationships. But, you know, just touch in, base, daily, daily. Make sure you get that time in. Make sure you say you love them um, no matter what. You know, even, you know, just that blessed to have your siblings in. And, you know, just just be grateful and thankful for another day. Um, to be around people you love and new people who comes into your lives. You know, I have a lot of good friends who, um, you know, I've only known for a few years and they have been truly a blessing to me. Um, you know, um, it, it, it's, it's a lonely walk when you're doing things alone, but you don't have to be alone. Um, you know, and I've always been a loner, you know, shut myself down and put myself in this little space, you know, just to be t protect my children and I, um, because I've been through a lot, you know, and you kind of, some people make you want to distance yourself from others and things and you just be like, I ain't got time. And that's how I spent my last, I think, 22 years kind of. Not kind of, I have. <laughs> my last 22 years and a half, I basically just was me and my children, you know. Um, and people along the way. And even that, you know, sometimes people don't understand, you know, your space. And, and, and don't understand the way you um, flow. You know, I've never been a big people's person, which is funny because I've always had a nice set of group of friends, you know, meaning, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, you have your friends, you have your uh, associates and, you know, I've always had a good social life. Um, and, but I kept it small. You know, I never wanted to meet new people and everything, but changing that almost 12 years ago, moving here, made me see things a little different because, one, I was here by myself, and that's one thing I could do. I could move anywhere <laughs> and don't have to know anybody because I, I'm good by myself, you know, sometimes, but you do need those loved ones, too, and, and I did have my time, and I do now, where I wish I was closer to my friends and things, but 2020, I'm going to promise to do uh, better with my social skills a little bit. Um, I can't let past things or people or family make me feel like I can't be me. And, and and enjoy people in your lives. You know, everybody comes as a season for a season and a reason. And you just have to be sure of how close, you know, every, I have, you know, they're in your life, you have perimeters. And so there's stages, you know what I'm saying? You have your inner, inner circle, which mine is so tight. It's like this. I can't really see you. You know, my inner circle like this. Um, and then it grows because those layers, um, they all play a piece, a special piece in your, um, what I say, a, a, you know, like a chessboard, you know, each of those, um, have a different purpose on that board. You know, some is more dominant, you know, some is powerful, you know, some is weak which need protection. So you know what I mean? Those layers. So you have people who, you know, you're the people who uplift you, people you can learn from, people with experiences from things that you have never experienced. And that's what we need to learn too. Um, you know, everybody ain't going to see us the same. Um, everybody ain't going to agree with you. And I love that, you know, I'm a debater. <laughs> I must say that I'm a debater. Um, no, I don't like everything everybody likes, but I have to respect what you like. Um, and when I speak to people, I am kind of, um, which I try to work on my deliverance because my deliverance is, can be a little bit 
aggressive sometimes. Um, that's because I don't like sugarcoating things. And sugarcoating and the wording um, sometimes come off a little harsh. And so, once again, when you have those layers of people around you, you have to be sure of how to address people, especially when um, they are new to your circle, uh, different layer of your circle not meaning they're in your circle I said a layer of your circle um just get to know them better you know just be yourself always be yourself but just be mindful of you know how you speak it to them and um sometimes I don't even give advice or I just be quiet because the way I when I get passionate about a subject I kind of you know like uh this is that. I don't like it. I don't care. <laughs> you know what I mean? It is what it is. Whatever subject you're talking about, like, um, girl, you just need to leave. Dude, you just need to cut that off. Stop playing yourself. Dude, you need to lock that up. You know, or, you know, <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, on that note, you know, just, just use those layers wisely because they are to help you push forth. Um to move forward. They help you grow. They help you learn about the people you may come in contact with because everybody from different nationalities, um, from different backgrounds. And I love learning more about people, cultures, and especially I'm a foodie. So I'm interested in their food, you know, their cuisines, uh, in, in, you know, things that I think I have wouldn't like. And so the more Broughton helps me with where I'm going on my path as a cook, you know, um, as a mom that loves to cook, I'm learning different things and different seasonings and things that match that I didn't think match up, you know, like, you know, it's, it's, it's been a journey. So I have thus far been enjoying my YouTube experience. I've met some beautiful people. Um, I just met some Simply K. Michelle. No, am I saying that right? I think that's her name. I'm so sorry if I messed you up. But I, I'm, you know, got in touch with her. Her, her videos are so uplifting. She's always uplifting people. Um, always talking positivity, positivity into the now. Um, in, in future, you know, so I, I do enjoy watching those. Been watching a lot of YouTube <laughs> lately, and that's probably why I'm losing a lot of sleep. Tubin, Tubin is on the brain all the time. Um, so anyway, get on there, just love on one another. Let's love on one another. The world is going, we, we, we have a lot going on in the world, and our mind is, let's say, it's not that your thoughts or your opinions or your 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 feelings is less than anything else, but um, I don't think it's as more important as uh, that's going on in the world. You know, all these missing children and women and little young men and all these things going on. It is so we just need to get in a prayer zone and keep praying it out and searching, posting. Um, looking for findings, make this awareness because no one's talking about that. You don't hear this on the news about all these missing kids. You know, let's bring it to, and it's hit home, guys. It has hit home to closer communities. So sometimes you watch things on TV and because it's not happening to you or in your area, it's kind of less aware, you know, alarming rather. But it's hitting home, you know. Um, where I'm from, Brooklyn, New York, you know, I didn't think about all this kidnapping and kids being missing and all this stuff. Uh, and, and it's hit close to home in New York. Like, wow, you know, it's serious. It's serious. So we need to take strive and use that energy, that negative energy, turn it into positive energy and start making the news be responsible to cover where our kids are going. You know, a, a trait because they're doing it in other some communities that's not you know, African-American and, you know, people have watch services and things like that, you know, these uh, uh, um, neighborhood watch, you know, and it, it, if we're watching, we used to have that in the hood for real. 
We used to have neighborhood to watch. It was our neighbors. Our, you know, everybody used to look after everyone's kids. But now today, everybody is about themselves. So, on that note, we got to be more aware and caring about our people. Seriously, and loving on one another. And, and, and getting, getting outside that bubble that... Our family is all we worry about. You know what? We all are family. And and once we start diminishing, it's 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 just become a domino effect. So let's love more on one another. Let's pray more with each other and for each other and helping each other and you know, hey, today is gonna be a great day. So let me get out of here and get ready for work. I love you guys. Thanks for checking me out. Don't forget to like, share, comment down below. Let me know what you think about this whole, you know, loving and community. Are you loving your community? Are you loving your neighbor? Are you loving just people you come indoor? Because people, sh you don't know what's on people's heart um, that you pass by or come in contact with. So let's start loving more and hating less. Okay, that's all. So anyway, you have a blessed day. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I look forward to making more videos this weekend, keeping them pumping out for you because I want you to enjoy my content as much as I enjoy bringing my content to you. So with that note, as I always say, stay blessed. I love you and peace out and if i didn't say thank you again for coming to jill comfort zone i love you guys facebook instagram and youtube until next time i will see you later on tonight with that caribbean salmon fritters baby so check it out don't be late i will be posting probably about eight o'clock as soon as i get home from work i'm gonna kick back for a little bit and come get started in the kitchen. So, mwah. peace out, baby.